Things might feel slightly different in today's video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. What up, peeps? Welcome to today's vlog. Check out the brand new countertop. Yay! Yay. We got our logo. We have DJ on here now because we didn't have him when I made the last one. You fixed it. Yeah. It's not on even anymore. All of our social media things return policy, and then this. You guys should pause the video and scan that. We also got the Japanese import one up. This one, since it's all square at the edges, it doesn't look bad, even though they did still trim it a bit too much. Here is the one that's on the figure and the statue case. Also got a little cut off, but still, I think it looks awesome. You see the little DJs in the background? And lastly is the Pokemon one. This one got really cut off, but still, I think it looks awesome. What do you think? I love it. Yeah, Pokemon cabinet. Still super full. If you guys live in Vancouver and you want some cheap, good Chinese food. Green tea kitchen. Bam. And they deliver all over Vancouver. They deliver literally anywhere. Yeah. If you live 20 miles away, but still in Vancouver, they will deliver it to mm -hmm. you. And they're open till like two o'clock in the morning. Oh no, they used to be, they used to do delivery until 2 a.m., but now um, they, but they're open till. They're open till 10, it says, but. I think they're open later. I'm pretty sure they are open later, but it's really good. If you guys are local, you should check it out. Mm -hmm. Oh, they close at 11. They definitely used to be open later before the pandemic. Yeah, because we used to order at like 2 o'clock in the morning all the time here. Heck yeah. We're going to do trades a little differently for this video. We're going to see how it turns out. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. We have a bunch of stuff today so far. Uh, we're not done yet, but there will probably be more later. First thing I wanted to highlight is the Chrono Trigger here for the DS. What's cool about this is this is the first print copy, which comes with the poster here, you can see. Um, only the first print comes with the poster. So if you get like a second print or whatever, it's not gonna have this in it. Usually that's the, you know, the easiest way to tell. And the first print is worth a little bit more. And then going through, we have some handheld stuff. And then I also wanted to highlight the Mega Man game here, Mega Man 6. This is the second most expensive Game Boy Advance game that is Mega Man. The only other one that's a little bit more is the first uh, Mega Man Battle Network. And then Japanese one there. And then we have some Xbox and PlayStation stuff. We get, you know, this kind of stuff pretty often, nothing too special. But then this game I wanted to talk about as well. Um, we did a TikTok about this one, but it's, it's kind of funny. But little secret, in the back, I don't want to show you completely, but there is an image, reversible cover there. I'm not going to show it in the video, but you can go Google it if you'd like to see. Some other PlayStation and Xbox stuff. We have the Master System game, and then we have a Mega Man Wily Wars reproduction. We don't normally take reproductions, but this one, this game only came out in the PAL region. And it's extremely expensive. The, a complete copy of that PAL version is like $1,000. So you get the North American reproduction that's fully complete here and for a fraction of the price. So if you're a Mega Man fan and you don't live in Europe or you don't want to spend a grand on a game, there you go. It's not like dirty inside there. Testing a wave bird. Yeah, we bird. Oh, it looks fine on there. Yeah, it looks good. Who's calling me? That does look clean. That's my, my, my wife. My wife. My wife. Hi, baby. Seems good. Ariel said she was having some troubles with it, so we gotta we gotta do extensive testing. You guys know about that? Oh wait. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like, I like doing that. It's good when you're fighting bosses. Yeah. Yeah. Whee. Can I show you something? Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, Coop, what do you got to show us? Okay, hold on. <laughs> I can't remember how to do it. Ah. There's like a... There, do you see oh, it? Oh, whoa. What was that? What does that do? What the heck? Uh, like creating a bomb of water. Yeah. I would like that. How do you do that? It was a lot easier on the switch. Whoa. What is that? Is it like a glitch or <laughs> no, something? No, it's, it's like a special move. What? So you're yeah. like hitting like the jump button? Okay, so that's what it is. You hit, you hit the spray right before you jump. So okay. spray jump. Weird. And when you have to do the, there's things where you have to like spray something or whatever, doing it like that, it'll get it done in like half the time. Dang, that's cool. So there's a pro gamer move for you guys on Mario Sunshine. It uses a ton of water though. Look, I already oh, have to yeah. refill. Oh dang. But here, let me show you. This other one is, more people know about this one, but it's, I like it. You can you can chill with us here. We want, we Ready? Want yeah. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> nice. You can... Mario turns into a car. <laughs> we got Pokemon cards! But uh, I'm probably going to get this one. But these are all, all up for grabs. Got an awesome Pikachu there. You should get it. I'm working on getting some eBay stuff done today, guys. So I'm about to start taking pictures. There's one item that actually came in this morning that I wanted to show you guys because somebody watching might be interested. We are gonna sell this on eBay. So if you're interested, there's a link in the description down below. But we have a TurboGrafx CD unit, but it's just this part. There's a little dock thing that you need that then plugs into the turbo. We do not have that part. We don't have any cables. We have nothing. I have no way to test this and we're not going to try to piece it together. Um, this thing is kind of expensive on its own. So for parts, they sell for about 300. That's what I'm planning on listing this one at. If you're interested, it will be going up. Uh, maybe, maybe won't be up by the, time, by the time you see this video, but at least in the next day or two. Um, also, I made some custom Amiibo a long time ago. We have a Goomba here, which I branded as Mario 3D World. Um, also, Cat Luigi. Some of these they have since made into actual Amiibo. Cat Mario and Piranha Plant. I got the World of Nintendo figures. I used Animal Crossing bases because they have the, the grass on it. I, you know, removed the old figure, put the new ones on, made the custom artwork and Photoshop for the backings, printed them off, got them all nice. The only thing I didn't do is the back, so they're still Animal Crossing on the back. Um, these are, they're not to be used, obviously. They're just a, you know, cool custom display item. But I'm planning on posting those on eBay as well. So, if you're interested, they'll be going up. Plus, a bunch of other random stuff. Ooh. Got some cards? Yeah, I got some cards. These are my doubles. Okay, I'll look through those, but first... Here, here's a sneak peek. But first, Ryan. Ryan, you remember yesterday's question of the day? Oh, yeah. I have some answers for you. Oh, gosh. First is from 570 Billiards. Yeah. They said, only serial killers use the hole. <laughs> That's a good <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Read me another one, please. <laughs> from DVD Exploiter. Yeah. They said, Commando. You like that, Ryan? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. That's hot. <laughs> Let's look at some more trades, guys. Got a bunch of stuff in today. We'll start over here. Got some cool PS2 games, some Wii, Xbox, PS3, a few Saturn imports. Got the Castlevania, it's called Vampire Hunter. Some NES, two copies of Crash Bandicoot. And then funny enough, this Super Famicom came in a separate trade from all of these Super Famicom games. If you want to check out Mega Man and you want like the physical copy, these ones are much cheaper than their North American counterparts. So if you have a way to play these, um, this is going to be the cheapest way if you want like the physical Super Nintendo style cartridge. But we got this really awesome Bomberman uh, multi-tap. So this allows you to play up to four players. 
um, on Bomberman, which we did get two copies, Bomberman 4 and Bomberman 3. So you could play up to four player multiplayer. This this uh, adapter, this style of adapter only came out in Japan. There is a Sega Saturn version that I believe if you put in two of those into a Sega Saturn, you can play up to eight players. So that's super awesome. So Bomberman's super fun, especially if you can get a you know room of people just all bombing each other, super fun. Something else interesting, we got two of these. So this is a special edition Game Boy Advance SP. This is a 001, but it's it's not really like tied to any game or anything like that, but it's just funny that we got two of them and we already had one in stock and we these are from two different people. So we got a bunch of these Game Boy Advance games. Got Earthworm Jim in there, some other decent stuff. Dragon Ball Z card game, and then some Switch games. Got that. I haven't had a couple of these in before. Got some anime Blu-ray and some other Blu-rays. Got Gundam and Dragon Ball Super and Dragon Ball Z. I believe this is the entire series of Dragon Ball Z, but we got this, which is awesome. This is Kung Fury. If you have not heard of this, look it up. It is free to watch on basically any streaming platform if you have Netflix or Amazon Prime, but it's free on YouTube as well. Um, this was a Kickstarter exclusive physical Blu-ray. This movie is hilarious. It's a giant meme of itself. It's like if you put every 80s pop culture reference into a movie, you would get this. And David Hasselhoff has a very iconic song that he sings in this, and it's amazing. And then we also got a few strategy guides here. So definitely check out Kung Fury, but that's it for now. Um, I don't know when Kyle I picked up some movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some good stuff. These came in, didn't they come in with that Kung Fury? It, they were from someone else, but. Oh, uh, okay, okay. You know, they all came today. Yeah, the person who brought in Dragon Ball stuff. Mm -hmm. brought in Did you show those in the clip you filmed? Oh, okay. No, because they're his. Let's see them though. Wait, Samurai 7, the complete series. It's mm -hmm. on three Blu rays for some reason, even though it's only 26 episodes. <laughs> A bunch of like extras and stuff. Yeah, this is 26 episodes and oh. Complete yeah. Cowboy Bebop, one of the best anime of all time. Excellent. If you have not seen this, you should. Ooh. And then watch Samurai Shampoo, made by the same people. It's one but of my favorites. Instead of like any titles, it's just all like artwork. That is oh, so weird. cool. Like there's titles on here, but like it's just full artwork. I wonder. But then I have the full VHS set of this. I haven't watched it because I don't even have a VHS player, but <laughs> I can definitely watch it through this now. Heck yeah. yeah. Question of the day. What is your favorite snack or drink that has been discontinued? Mine are the container of the, the Cheetos, the little Cheeto ball thingies. I miss those, the whatever they were, but they're so good. I miss them. My answer is 3D Doritos. Those things are amazing. That's also my answer, because they were amazing. Yeah. All right, I got a twofer. The first one is uh, Butterfinger BBs, those were the shit. Yes. Um, and also, I know it's weird, but guacamole chips. Oh my god! They the guacamole are Doritos so were the. Uh, I think I ate they the still Lay's have them. one. I, I mostly ate the Lay's one. I There's. Think. Uh, I like, I like the those ones. Dill pickle chips. Yeah, I'd probably like the, Dorito the brand. Ones, but yeah, those are my favorite. Okay. So a drink that I uh, want back that got discontinued is uh, called Fruitopia. It was. Uh, like it's like a Snapple ripoff kind of drink. My school had a vending machine back in elementary school. It was, it was pretty bomb. So there were these like, and I don't know if these are discontinued, but I've just never seen them again. And if I knew they existed, I would buy them. But they were just like balls of Reese's. And it was just like, it was just chocolate on the outside and then just like a, like peanut butter. And I know that it's, you know, it's the same. It's peanut butter and chocolate, but there was just something, yeah. yeah. It was just, there was just something different about just, you know. Yeah, those ones, those ones. Yeah, anyway, I miss them. Closing time. Bye, Ryan! Bye, Jess! Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you again tomorrow.